Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. Welcome to this awesome Saturday, the 24th. One more day until Yom Teruah begins. I am excited. I just feel the grace of the Father upon His saints to bring us into such a place of expectancy and hope. Today, I'm going to go at it again about intention and the power of intention. How many of you know Jeremiah 29, 11, that God has thoughts towards us and those thoughts are to give us hope and a future. It is the thoughts of the Father. And I love how John 16 says, that Holy Spirit does not speak his own message. He only speaks the message of the Father. John 16, 13, I believe. He only speaks the message of the Father. And it always witnesses of Jesus Christ. Said so the word always witnesses of truth. Amen. Whatever is in the Holy Scripture, the word of God witnesses truth to our members. Amen. Hey, Lisa and Donna, love y'all. And so... Those words that God gives us in his holy scripture are his thoughts. They are his thoughts. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, says the Lord, to give you a hope. And that word hope is tikva and future. And we're going to look at two Hebrew words today. That is God's thoughts. And that's mechashva and then hope, tikva. Mechashba is the Hebrew word that means to invent, and it means thoughts, and it actually indicates an invention. This is beyond phenomenal. So think about some of the greatest inventors out there, and one of them that I wrote extensively about his life and three of his inventions was Tesla in my book, Rev 22.2 which is a part of the Watchmen series on Amazon. And it is beyond phenomenal how that man literally had open visions of that current that he invented and alternating current was invented by Tesla, who was given an open vision by God at it, as, it, as it was finished in the open vision. And Tesla's dad was a minister, and he really wanted Tesla to be a minister, and all this is in Rev 22-2. But, of course, Tesla was called to be an inventor. And I just think how phenomenal it is that this man had an open vision from the Lord and came up with alternating current. And what is so powerful is that God gave him that invention. God is the greatest inventor. And I talk about in that book that we are God's invention. We serve a purpose. Listen to this, saints of God, because what God invents has God's intent. Think about that. That is beyond powerful. What God invents, it has a purpose. It has an intention. And there is power in our intention. And so when we look at that, the fact that God's thoughts invention for us is a hope. That word hope is tikva. And it means a cord, like a rope, a cord. And it means hope. And I think about how so many times... That discouragement will hit our members when we're so close to breakthrough. And I love to think of the rope of hope. God's hope does not disappoint. He knows his invention. He knows who you are. He knows his hope. He knows his plan. You just have to get on board with his intention for your life. So look at this, saints of God. When we look at an invention and what it was created to do, and one of those inventions was alternating current, which is what all of our power operates on 
instead of direct current that was created by Edison, alternating current builds up sufficiency as a wave, whereas direct current would just go straight and it would kind of fade away. Alternating current was more of a wave and it was building up. And I think about a rubber band stretching back and letting go a gazillion times. And that alternating current kept a steady flow of power supplied to apartments or homes from the power company so that we could have our lights on and not pay a gazillion dollars. Well, think about things that are accumulating in your members of what God has for you to do. He's given you gifts. He's given you talents and how that just kind of builds up in your members and it just swells up and it wants to come out. That is the experience of God's life, rivers of living water. Where do we see this? With Jesus Christ in John 4, the Samaritan woman. She was under the intents of this present age and the heaviness of people's opinions upon her person, and it kept her way down. And it was like getting direct current from electricity where it just faded away. And there was no power in her members, and her gift had not come out, which was evangelism. Nobody wanted to talk to her. So think about this, where the enemy hits your members, such as nobody would want to be around this Samaritan woman at the well that Jesus met in John 4. Nobody wanted to meet with her. And so the gift she had was to evangelize. It was to talk. It was to minister truth. And it took one, the Son of God, the Son of Man, who brought an alternate reality, an alternate current to her members from heaven that said, you're not like they say you are directly. You have an alternate anointing, an anointing that is from God, that isn't from man. And I'm going to fill you, Jesus showed her, with living waters. And you'll never have to drink from this well again, which meant you'll never have to look for your power source and approval from other people because your power source and approval comes from heaven. And that is life, the abundant life, the Zoe. And from that place, she give out. So when an alternate reality hit her of who she was invented to be, she went out and she evangelized a whole city that the whole city was refreshed from that message and they wanted to come see Jesus Christ because of what Jesus did for that one person. And that hope did not disappoint. That hope was a drink offering poured out and it reached to others and added the God value to them that they wanted to go see the Son of God. Amen. That's how powerful God's intent is in your life. That when you're walking in the gift God's given you, that intention of God's invention with your mind and your heart, as you think in your heart, so are you, you are unstoppable. You are limitless. And it is powerful. Now think about that as we come close to Yom Teruah. And think about the message God is giving you as we enter Yom Teruah and what he has specifically for you and what he has for your family. It is powerful, saints. Get ready. I am beyond excited and hopeful. God bless you and be expectant. In Jesus' name, amen.